Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Shasar Classes and Evershine Coaching Center. I am Shah Faisal sir here. My dear students, today I am going to continue the chapter Trigonometry. After all, I hope you all know about what is Trigonometry, right? Trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that deals with the relationship between the sides and angles of triangles. From using trigonometry, easily we can measure the sides and angles of a triangle. As you all know about the word trigonometry. Trigonometry has come from the Greek word trigonometry. It's nothing but three sides measurement. So, in this video, we are going to cover the trigonometry in a very easiest way. We are going to study the trigonometry as like a game. Okay, let's begin. Before we could continue this chapter trigonometry, I like to tell you one thing, you should be very perfect with the basics. After all, if you are not perfect with the basics, then it will be very difficult for you to cope up with the chapter trigonometry. Now, in this series of trigonometry videos, we are going to cover n number of problems related to the chapter trigonometry and this video can be accessed by all the board students along with class 10, class 12 and even some degree students also can use these videos. Why? Because we are going to cover each and every type questions in this trigonometric series. Let's begin. Now, as you can see, I hope you have seen this trigonometry. You should be very perfect with the trigonometric ratios like sin theta, cos theta, tan theta, cosecant theta, secant theta and cot theta. So, you need to know all the trigonometric ratios. What is sin theta? It is opposite by hypotenuse, cos theta. It is nothing but adjacent by hypotenuse, tan theta, it is opposite by adjacent, right, cosecant theta, hypotenuse by opposite, secant theta, hypotenuse by adjacent, cot theta, adjacent by opposite. I hope you all know about this trigonometric ratios, right? So here, mostly I'll be using these words while I'm solving the problems. So we call this as hypotenuse. I'm going to call this side as adjacent and this side as my opposite. Most of you will be using this side as base and this side they will be using like perpendicular, okay? So it's up to you people how you want to pronounce. You can pronounce it in that form. but this is adjacent is nothing but base, opposite is nothing but perpendicular and this is the hypotenuse side. And my dear students, I am just giving a recap of all the things what we are going to study. Okay. So, here in main B, let me study the reciprocals. We know that sin theta is equals to 1 by cosecant theta. Is this right? Similarly, cosecant theta can be written as 1 by sin theta. We are taking the reciprocals. Now, we can write here the conclusion like sin theta into cosecant theta that is equals to 1. Cosecant theta if you cross multiply here it becomes into that is sin theta into cosecant theta is equals to 1 or cosecant theta into sin theta is also is equals to 1. So, this is the first reciprocal you should know because this is very important while we solve the problems. Okay, And then let me come back to the next reciprocal that is cos theta. Cos theta can be written as 1 by secant theta. Similarly, secant theta can be written as 1 by cos theta. If you cross multiply, then it becomes cos theta into secant theta is equals to 1. Similarly, tan theta can be written as 1 by cot theta and cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta. Similarly, we can write like this also that is tan theta into cot theta is equals to 1. I hope this series you have understood the reciprocals part. I am right? Good. Now, 
very important ratio you should know that is the quotient relation what is the quotient relation states that is tan theta can be written as 1 by i mean tan theta can be written as sin theta by cos theta and cot theta can be written as cos theta by sin theta my dear students one thing i just like to tell you here in case if you don't know how to remember this all formulas okay i have made the video related to how to remember the formulas in my previous episode you can just go to the playlist of this videos okay in that i have shown you the shortcut and also the logics how to remember the formulas okay here i am just using direct formulas okay and in main d square relations what is that square relation we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 you should know this you should know about this similarly secant 2 theta can be written as 1 plus tan 2 theta remember this logic this formula and next cosecant 2 theta is equals to 1 plus cot 2 theta so these are the square relations you should know and then let me come back to the next topic that is corollary relations what is the corollary re relations we have that is sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta and sin theta can be written as square come this side it becomes root of 1 minus cos square theta is this clear and then next we come back to the cos 2 theta cos 2 theta can be written as 1 minus sin 2 theta cos 2 theta can be written as 1 minus sin 2 theta then cos theta can be written as I mean just a minute it is cos square theta is equals to 1 minus sin square theta then cos theta can be written as root of 1 minus sin square theta remember this sin square theta is 1 minus cos square theta then cos square theta will be 1 minus sin square theta is this clear uh, it's not 2 theta just let me to rem remind you it is secant square theta equals 1 plus tan square theta cosecant square theta equals 1 plus cot square theta okay so these are the standard relations which we have okay fine so sin square theta can be written as 1 minus cos square theta sin theta is root of 1 minus cos square theta cos square theta is 1 minus sin square theta then cos theta is root of 1 minus sin square theta similarly the next topic that is secant square theta can be written as 1 plus tan square theta then secant theta is root of 1 plus tan square theta is this clear good and then what relation we have we do have the one more relation you should know about this also what is that means cosecant square theta is equals to 1 plus cot square theta okay then cosecant theta can be written as root of 1 plus cot square theta done good and then which we have that is tan square theta can be written as secant square theta minus 1 then tan theta can be written as root of secant square theta minus 1 then we have cot square theta is equals to cosecant square theta minus 1 then cot theta can be written as root of cosecant square theta minus 1 ok so you should know about these all correlations and also the trigonometric standard angles what is that that is sin 0 sin 30 sin 45 sin 60 sin 90 right so you should know about those standard angles also which are those standard angles we have that is sin theta cos theta tan theta cosecant theta secant theta 
cot theta okay so let me make a table like this okay we have sin 0 degree sin 30 sin 45 sin 60 and then sin 90 so these are the, these are our trigonometric standard angles right these all our trigonometric standard angles okay so 0 1 sin 30 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 then 1 root 3 by 2 1 by root 2 1 by 2 0 then tan theta is 0 and then 1 by 2 1 root 3 by 2 sorry it will get cancelled to 2 so root 3 by 1 is root 3 1 by 0 is not defined then here it is not defined then 2 root 2 ok just we have to take the uh, you have to reciprocal this part ok 2 by root 3 1 then secant theta is 1 2 by root 3 root 2 2 not defined then cot theta is not defined root 3 1 1 by 2 and 0 so these are our trigonometric standard angles okay in this video i'm just giving you all the list of formulas what we are using so that next once we start solving the next topic and the problems then it will be easy for you and then we have the next topic trigonometric complementary angles let me say that is part g what is the trigonometric complementary angles sin cos tan cosecant cosecant secant and then cot so these are our complementary angles how to remember these complementary angles that is sin of 90 minus theta is cos theta then cons of 90 minus theta is sin theta similarly tan of 90 minus theta is cot theta then cot of 90 minus theta is tan theta then secant of 90 minus theta is cosecant theta then cosecant of 90 minus theta is secant theta so these are our complementary angles i hope my dear students you all have got the all the list of formulas what we are using in this chapter still if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel shasar classes kindly do subscribe it and click the bell icon and select all so that you can find the instant updates and notifications from our end time to time if you like this session do not forget to click the like button and do not forget to watch the rest of the episodes i mean the rest of the trigonometric series what we are going to solve in our next videos thank you take care wish you all the best of luck comment below how was this class and what video you want to make me next thank you take care wish you all the best of luck once again